everybody. If you love to read, then follow my lead. It's S T O R Y T I M E. Story time with S A N D I. Story time, Sandy. Hello, little readers. Do you remember what my name is? That's right. It's Story Time Sandy. And do you remember what the name of my magic book is? Yes, Midnight. Hey, why don't we wake up Midnight the Magic Book and read a story together? Sleep be midnight, please. Wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. I said, sleep be midnight, please. Wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. Say it with me. Sleep be midnight, please. Wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. The Three Doof Doofs by Cloudy Potter, Stephen Wallace, and Wynand Batha. Gee, I wonder what this story is about. <laughs> what is that? What is that doof 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 noise? A cat? A mouse? A visitor in the house? Hmm. No, it's something even furrier than a cat, even cuter than a mouse, and much, much tinier than you and me. I wonder what it could be. Let's turn the page and find out. It's the three doof doofs. These sweet creatures have only one foot each to hop on, and each hop makes a thumping doof doof on the floor. Hey, this story is even better than I thought. Here is Soli Doof, the smart one, who is always thinking long and loud. He uhs and ahs and doof doofs all night long. Little readers, can you make those sounds with me? Ready? Ah. Ah. <laughs> there he is. He's climbing up the bookshelf. <gasps> and do you see all of those books falling to the ground? Well, that will be sure to wake somebody up. Hey, isn't this so much fun? Let's keep reading together. He reads daytime stories to the other Doof Doofs because unlike you and me, that is when they sleep. Thinky, stinky Soli Doof prefers reading over bathing anytime. And here is Sally Doof, the smallest and sweetest Doof Doof of the, the three. In a little quiet voice, she sings, a dooby dooby doof doof songs when it gets a bit too quiet in the night. There she is singing to the the moon. She likes finding shiny things and cuddles. Snuggly huggly Sally Doof who loves to sing. Clink clink clunk. What is she doing, little readers? She's in the silverware drawer. There's a spoon and a knife and a fork. I sure am having fun reading with you. Are you having fun too? Yay! Don't forget Silly Doof, the funniest Doof Doof in the house. He is always joking. <laughs> Aww. Look at him laughing. Wiggly giggly silly doof will make you laugh until your tummy hurts. He cheers up the other doof doofs whenever they feel sad. I think this is my favorite part. 
he loves to dance on in his big silly foot to the songs that Sally Doof sings. Wow, doesn't that seem like fun? So, if at night you ever hear a strange doof doof noise again, remember, it's just the three doof doofs reading, singing, and dancing on their one doof doof foot. So sleep well, little one, or keep one eye open, because maybe, just maybe, you'll see three cute little creatures hopping past on one foot, going doof doof doof. The story's all done. I hope you had fun with S T O R Y T I M E Story Time with S A N D I Story Time Sandy. Midnight and I sure do love reading with all of you. <gasps> you know what else we would love to read? A special secret message written just by you. So grab a grown up and ask them to help you write a message for us down below. And hey, before you go, Let's read another story together. All you have to do is click that box right there. Let's go! Well, aren't you coming? Come on, click the box and I'll see you in the next story.